What's up, Grey Wolf Survival? I was talking with uh, Bill earlier today about a new piece of kit that I got. A uh, piece I ordered off of Amazon. Something I've been looking at for a while. And uh, hadn't been able to find anything I really liked that could support uh, anything over 175 pounds. And I finally found one, so I pulled the trigger on it and came today. Uh, I want to review with you guys today a breakdown hiking pack chair. Uh, really nice little piece of kit. Uh, it's weight rated for 320 pounds, which is pretty impressive since most of them that I saw were 150 to 175. Overall weight, this is what was really cool to me. Overall weight in the pouch that it comes with, about 2.1 pounds, so not a lot of added weight. Uh, just a really nice little piece of kit. Share with you some features of the, the pouch itself before we uh, put it together. Uh, really well thought out in my opinion. It's got these two side loops, so you can use that to connect it to your pouch uh, vertically or horizontally, depending on what your pouch is. And then it also has, and I'll include some stills in this so we can put it in the video so you can get a little bit better view of it. Uh, this molly strap back here which has six molly loops so you can attach it to your pouch via molly loops with a D-ring or a carabiner or whatever, a couple of them, Grimlocks, uh, whatever you want. But really cool because then you don't have to stuff it in your pack and take up space and on top of that, when you're hiking as you're, as you're moving into the, into the woods, you want to stop for lunch or, or whatever, sit down and take a break, you can pull out your pack chair and assembles in less than a minute. You've got a nice place to sit down, enjoy your lunch. Uh, if you're like me, you like to take a pipe with you, you can smoke your pipe or a cigar or whatever. But you don't have to dig into your pack to get to it. You can just take it right out, put it together, sit down, have your thing, fold it back up, reattach it to your pack and move on your way. You didn't have to dig into your pack and, and take a bunch of stuff out. So let's go ahead and put it together. Again, really easy to do. So it just pops out of the out of the pouch, and again the uh, the two rings allow you to take this and put it onto the seat frame, and uh, give yourself a little like when you get to camp. Uh, I'm thinking maybe I just throw my my pipe kit and my lighter in here, and it gives me a place to store that, so I don't have to go dig it out of my pack every time I want to use it if I want to sit down and have it. I've got it right here, so I like that. And really, it's just the three pieces: a pouch. The chair, which is a piece of uh, fabric with mesh, and the big mesh section, I don't know if you can see it here, kind of see the tree through it. The big mesh section is going to be the back, and then there's two smaller ones, which are the air vents for uh, where you're sitting. And then on the back of the piece, in the four corners, there are these rubberized, heavy reinforced pockets that the frame posts sit into, so that's one at each of the four corners. So we'll come back to that. Let's go ahead and put the frame together and give you a little bit of background on it. So the frame is plastic and aluminum with shock cords. It doesn't come completely apart, but it breaks totally down. And really, it's kind of cool because they're all shock corded in. The components stay exactly where they need to be, and so there's no guessing, hey, where does this go? Pretty much puts itself together. The, uh, the chair back posts are longer, so they're a double pole. And then the feet, if you can see here, the feet are plastic, rubberized plastic caps so you don't get any dirt or debris up inside the frame. And then the tops of the uh, chair front, the, the seat, and the back post have uh, little plastic stoppers in it so you don't get any debris down in that either. So you're looking at the back of the seat. I'm going to go ahead and put... Go ahead and put the seat on, and I start with the back. Get that, get that set in there. It's a little bit of a tension, but that provides stability once it's all together. A little bit of, uh, it's not hard, but rigidity for you, some stability, so the the frame doesn't wobble all over the place. And then I went ahead and put the pouch on, so I've got the pocket, and then again a little bit more of a of a stretch to fit it on there. Not hard. So just a little bit of stretch to give the seat some rigidity. Put that in there. All right. 
and there you have a seat. And again, I'm a bigger guy. I'm about 240 pounds, so a, a pack chair that will only hold a 170-pound guy, 175-pound guy, isn't going to work for me. But this is weight rated for 320 pounds. And again, I can pack it on the outside of my pack. I can get to it really easy while I'm hiking in. I don't have to take everything out of my kit. And then when I actually get to where I'm going, if I haven't, if I haven't found a, a log chair, a stump chair, or I haven't made a, a bushcraft bench or something like that, I can just pull this out, throw it up, set it beside my tent or my hammock, whatever I'm using. Uh, night before I'm ready to go into my hammock, I can sit down, take my, my hiking boots or my shoes off. In the morning, I can sit down and put them back on. I'm not having to try and find a tree to lean against. Uh, just some stability. And then while you're in camp, there, I don't know about you guys, but as I get older, I don't like to always sit on the ground. Sometimes it's cold, sometimes it's wet. Um, it's just not always pleasant. The seat is low enough that if I'm, you know, doing a feather stick or using a ferro rod, I'm doing some carving, whatever, I can do that over the fire area. I can be low enough that I can do that with ease. I don't have to be down on my knees doing, uh, doing those things. I don't have to be sitting on the ground. If I'm cooking, making coffee, I can be right there by the fire, I'm comfortable, and, you know, just relaxing in camp. If I want to pull out my pipe, I can do that. I can smoke, I can sit by my tent, I can sit by the fire. Again, just a really cool option. 30 bucks, $29.99 on Amazon is what I paid. We'll put a link in the comments below or in the video description so you can go look at it. The chairs, as far as I know, are all black, uh, and then they come with... Um, your choice of trim color, four different trim colors, and I think the, the uh, aluminum frame is matched to the trim color. So I ordered uh, the orange trim. It goes with my ultralight pack. That's why I picked that. It's a, it's a Texas burnt orange, not really a neon. There's a red, there's a light blue, and there's a royal blue. And again, I think the aluminum frame is colored to match the trim of the chair and the, pa uh, the pouch. Uh, again, $29.99, uh, they're prime, so if you have that, free shipping, free two-day shipping. And uh, I think it's a great little piece of kit, really lightweight, 2.1 total pounds, uh, not a whole lot of extra weight, and certainly worth it to not be down on the ground constantly while I'm in camp. Uh, you know, if I'm going to be in a base camp for a long time, I don't have to use this. I can build a, a bushcraft bench or whatever, and that's fine. But while I'm hiking in, again, to stop and have lunch or... You know, whatever, if I don't, if I'm not at a base camp, I have this, and if I don't want to take the time, if I'm not going to be there long enough to build a bench, or if I don't have a stump chair, I can use this and be up off the ground. I really enjoy it. Uh, go ahead and give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Uh, put your comments down below in the comments section. Come on over to the Great Wolf uh, Facebook page. Give us some comments and feedback there. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you subscribe. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit the red subscribe button. When you do that, there'll be a little bell icon. If you click on that, you'll get the automatic updates. Anytime a, a video is uploaded to the Grey Wolf uh, YouTube page, you'll get an email saying that there's new content. And come over and watch that. Uh, we do giveaways on here pretty regularly. We just finished a 1,000 member on YouTube giveaway. And then on the Facebook page, we just cleared uh, 2,000. We did a 2,000 member giveaway coming up on 2,500 members. When we hit that, we're going to do another uh, challenge giveaway. So join that. Uh, re request joining that, becoming a member, and we'll uh, get you in and get involved. What I really want you guys to know, if you're not a member of the Grey Wolf uh, family, we are not a bunch of egos. We're a bunch of guys who, guys and gals who want to share our collective knowledge and skill set with you to help you grow. And then if you've got knowledge and skills, if you've got things that are you know, not exactly the way that other people do it, we're not here to say your way is wrong, our way is right, not at all. We want you guys to uh, post videos, post pictures, post comments, and just let us know, hey, here's what I do, here's a way to do it, and be a part of the family. That's how we all grow together. We learn from each other. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.